Okay, so we're told we have two similar cuboids. Now that means one's a direct enlargement of the other. And we're given a length on both of them, and we're given the volume of the smaller one. We've got to find the volume of the larger one. So the first thing is work out the linear scale factor. So we'll do our times 17 by to get to 161.5. So to work out the linear scale factor, we do a big length over a small length. And in this case, the big length is 161.5. The two lengths need to be corresponding, which means they're in the same location in both of the cuboids. So 161.5 over 17, which is 9.5. Now, to work out the volume scale factor, what we've got to do is times by the linear scale factor, but that ah, three times. Okay, so times 9.5 times 9.5 times 9.5 or do 9.5 cubed. So we're going to do 9.5 cubed and I get 857.375. Okay, which seems a real big number, but volume will grow much quicker than linear scale than lines will. So that tells me what I need to times that by here to get to the bigger volume. So I'm going to do 85 times by the volume scale factor, or 857.375. Let's just tidy that up a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Ugh. Make sure you copy down the numbers correctly. Okay, so 85 times 857.375. And I get a very, very big number. So I'm going to write it in the answer bit. So 72876.875. Now it's not unusual to look at this and go, oh, I must have done something wrong because that's huge. But expect a really big number when it comes to um, vo the volume um, on an enlarged cuboid. Uh, it will grow really quickly because not only is it getting wider, it's getting taller and it's getting more depth. So it's growing really, really um, rapidly, the volume.